Hi, I'm DJ Hathaway. I'm Gary Lundin. And today we're going to show you the three-dimensional motion of the golf club and how that relates to the swing plane. Okay, so what we want to show is that there's some misconceptions in golf about how the, uh, the takeaway progresses. Some people think that the club would move straight back away from the ball, and that would look something like this. And you don't make a takeaway like that. So there's a three-dimensional element to every golf swing. If I keep the shaft on this plane board, we'll see that the shaft moves in a straight line. There's no doubt about that. The club head is moved inside the line, and that's because of the arc of the golf swing. So every golf swing that's on plane has three dimensions to it. There's a backwards, which you can't have any other way. The club moves up, and the head moves inward. So there's your three dimensions of every backswing. Backwards, upwards, and inwards. As BJ talks on the backswing, we're going to reverse that order on, on the downswing. We're going to come downwards, outwards, and forward as we come into impact. And stay on that plane, going through impact, as the ball goes on a straight line. In a perfectly on-plane golf swing, the shaft moves in a straight line through the lower sections of the swing, but the club head doesn't. It moves in three dimensions. So very interesting. 